Hello folks and welcome to another Richard Head Longbows video, the channel that helps you make bows and arrows by using our combined experience of a hundred years, a million years uh, in making bows and arrows professionally. And uh, we've had one of our lovely YouTubers ask a question about broken arrows, or more to the point, reusing piles. If you hit the leg of a target, or you go up and collect your arrows that have unfortunately gone in the ground, or even indeed hit a hard target, you may have found, like the rest of us, that the pile has broken off. And he was wondering, can they be used again, uh, particularly with reference to ones that still got bits of wood in them? So can we use them again and how do we do that? We can. There's one here that still has a piece of wood in it. Um, depending on whether the pile is in good condition, if the point is just a little bit blunt, a small file will sharpen that up again. If it's not split, can be used again. Depending what it's been fixed on with. If it was hot melt glue, no problem. Something like this, you can hold that with a pair of pliers or a, uh, a glove, heat it over a flame, pair of pliers on the pile and pull it off. Be careful not to burn your hand, yes. please. <laughs> please be it's careful. It's the health and safety bit, Yes, I yeah. am the health and safety <laughs> man. <laughs> yes. But so basically what Richard's saying is that if there's long enough length there, you can, you can hold, hold it. Hold it with but it. if that isn't there, what can we do? Right. Say, if it was hot melt, fine, it would come off. Yeah. If it's aroldite, heating it turns the aroldite to a, a white powder and it will pull off. So that one's got a piece of wood in it, not too much of a problem. Okay. This one broke off right where the brass pile is, so oh, there's yeah. nothing to catch hold of. So what we would do is drill a small hole in the wood and then get a screw, something like that, uh, and then screw that in to the hole so that then gives you something to hold on to with a pair of pliers being metal it's going to get pretty hot so hold that with a pair of pliers heat the pile over the gas flame it doesn't need to get so hot that it starts glowing red but <laughs> just a little <laughs> yes. minute or two uh, and then pair of pliers again and the pulling on the screw and pulling on the part should bring the wood out and you can then reuse the pile. So ideally two pairs of pliers, you, one to pull on the screw, one to pull on the head once you've With this, it yeah, unless you've got a really good pair of heat proof gloves. Yeah. I don't know where you get those from. Don't know the heat proof shop. <laughs> yeah. I've no idea. The your fire brigade <laughs> probably the get fire, well, fire, When fire, they <laughs> come round to put the fire yeah, out, yeah. can you buy them heat for the gloves? gloves? I've got a few <laughs> piles I need to rescue. Uh, so yeah, so yeah, you need to hold that ideally with a pair of pliers mm. and then that with some pliers so you can pull the two apart. Yeah. I'm sure someone's going to ask um, with this, why can't you just keep keep drilling it? Why can't you just gone? buy some more? Or what? just buy some more. <laughs> They're not expensive, <laughs> particularly when you get down to what they cost each. <laughs> this is true. But um, if you are frequently losing them, um, it can add up. Oh, so yeah, if, you, can, you can do it. Wrong with and the I've pile, done it plenty yeah, of times. We've all done it. And if there's nothing wrong with the pile, then why not? Yeah. Um, but I'm sure someone will mention in the comments that you could continually keep drilling till all the wood is gone. Um, you are risking damaging the pile, particularly with these brass piles, which are a bit more soft. Um, and you can't and it necessarily... Takes, it, it, takes takes, it takes a long time. Yeah. This way you are basically cleanly getting that pile out. You can then use a, a small um, round rasp or file to get some of the excess of wood and glue that's left still in the pile uh, before reapplying it. Um, but doing it this way, as Richard described, you are going to get basically the majority of that wood out in, in one go. Uh, just makes it a lot quicker and easier. Well, I hope that helps. I hope that answers your question. Thank you for asking us those questions. Uh, please do ask more. We try to answer them if we can, except where to get heat-proof gloves, oh, yeah. apart from stealing from the them fire from the fire brigade if they have such a thing. I am now going to go and check on Amazon <laughs> if such a thing exists, because uh, there's lots of other things that I could think of to do with them. Uh, so, yeah, thank you for watching, and thank you for subscribing and asking us questions and liking and all that other stuff, and we'll see you again soon. Good.